40 a space vehicle is traveling at 4300 km per hour relative to earth when the exhausted rocket motor which has mass equal to 4m is disengaged and sent backwards with a speed of 82 km per hour relative to the common module which has mass m what is the speed of the common module relative to earth just after this separation okay so initially we have planet earth here and we have a rocket so let's say that our rocket is something like this and initially the speed of the rocket is 4300 kilometers per hour and there after a while those parts separate so the common module will go keep going with some speed v and the rest of the rocket will it is still going to the same direction of v but it's a uh, smaller value and in this case it will be v minus 82 kilometers per hour so this is what's happening here because one thing that you might think is that the command model is going to the left the opposite direction but that's not true because the initial speed is too high so the different speed is not enough to send it into the opposite direction so this is what's happening here and we, we want to know this speed over here v so we are going to use conservation of linear momentum so the initial linear momentum is equal to the final linear momentum and we have two different sources of linear momentum here we have the momentum from the command module and the rocket so let's remember that the linear momentum can be written as m times v so using this equation over here we have that the mass of the command module times the initial speed of the command module plus the mass of the rocket of the motor of the rocket you know what i'm talking about times the initial speed of the rocket must be equal to the mass of the command center times the final speed of the command center plus the mass of the rocket times the final speed of the rocket so in our case the mass of the command center is just m its initial speed is this value here let's call it uh, i don't know like vo right so vo plus the mass of the rocket is for m the initial speed of the rocket is vo as well the mass of the command center is m the final speed it's just v you see we just call it v the mass of the rocket is 4m and its final speed it's v minus 82 we can use kilometers per hour here because we we're just interested in the speed itself if we needed to calculate the linear momentum then it would be better to convert everything to meters per second but in this case we don't need to do that okay so on this side of the equation we have five five times mvo which is equal to mv plus 4mv minus 4 times 82 that's 328m uh, right i guess so this is 5 mv as well so let's keep going so 5 mv o equals to 5 mv minus 328 m so we can cross all the masses out so we are going to send this to the left and this to the right so well not really i don't have to do that i'm just going to send send this number to the left so 5vo plus 200 328 is equal to 
v. So v is equal to 5vo plus 328 divided by 5. So this is going to be 5 times 4,300 4, plus 328 divided by 5. And this should give us, let's see, should give us 4,365.6 kilometers per hour. And that's the answer of this problem.